G'day, welcome to Unity with Heaven. My name is Joseph and today I'm here with Amy and we are ministering to 10 people. Oh, so the, the first person I want to minister to is Brenda. Uh, Brenda, uh, the Lord's hand is upon you and I see a torch that you are carrying, a torch of the Holy Spirit, of the mandate of God, of the vision that God has given, the blueprint. Uh, and I felt that the Lord says you were first in a position where you served but now the Lord is giving you that anointing and I actually saw an uh, older person that had the, the mandate and anointing but they pause, uh, pass the to torch to you and you're walking and you're making the vision clear and the Lord is even giving you people to support you and to walk with you uh, and to, to, to function and so the Lord says uh, you are going to see massive growth uh, in your ministry over the next 10 years but also in your spiritual walk with the, God, the Lord and even in the provision that God gives to you and so in the, in the past God gave you provision and it was for you and for your family but the Lord says I'm going to increase that provision so that you will have enough also to do my work of ministry and to feed people to bless people around you God bless you Brenda Amen God bless you Brenda God loves you this next word is for Ricky Ricky God loves you so much and I just saw how God took out your voice and how the Lord like totally transformed it and put it back and I just saw how the Lord says um, everything that you give to me I'm going to give back to you but even better and I just feel how the Lord says the things that you're holding on to in your life the Lord says give it to me trust in me and I'm going to make it better more new more amazing um, and I just see how you constantly come to God and you constantly give and how God is constantly giving back to you and you're going to testify to a lot of people especially for people that are trusting for breakthrough in finances people that are trusting for breakthrough in healing or relationships with family or even um, a, a lot of yeah, yeah, a lot of things involving ministry, but also real life situations. Uh, I just feel how God is going to use you to be a coach and mentor and to really people will witness of what it is, what happens when someone trusts God with all these amazing things and what the Lord can do. God loves you so much, Ricky. God bless you. Okay, Ricky, uh, God bless you. Uh, he is really going to uh, um, use you yeah. uh, as a leader. Um, so uh, just trust in the Lord and walk with Him. Uh, you don't have to promote yourself. God will promote you. Yeah. Uh, and He will not only promote you, also promote your children. And He will cause you to be a spiritual covering for them that intercede and also pray and declare over your own children. All right, God bless you. Ricky, uh, Daniela, uh, the Lord shows me a uh, massage parlor. And how you go there and how all the muscles in your back is very um, stiff. Uh, and saw and how you go for this massage and they massage you until all the muscles are nice and loose and you feel a lot more relaxed and what I felt that the Lord says he's taking you through a process where you give each one, each one of your burdens and the things that bothers you in your life and the, the, the tensions the frustrations I see how the Lord is helping you to give all of that to him and because you are a person that always say but i'm going to take responsibility i'm going to take everything on myself the lord says remember i am laboring with you i'm walking with you i'm strengthening with you uh, i am uh, the the ox uh, that carry that burden and i love you and i'm covering you and so you don't have to be the savior of the world jesus is already the savior of the world you just have to be obedient to him and i just see how there's a unity that the lord is coming and an unburdening you know, sometimes a donkey can carry all these weights. Uh, and so I, I felt that the Lord says, you are not a donkey. Although we do carry each other's burdens, uh, the Lord uh, doesn't let us be tempted further than we can handle. And so the Lord has for each one of us a mandate and a purpose. And I felt that the Lord says, yes, you take your own purpose and your own burdens, but you also take a lot of burdens that you were not meant to carry. And that's why the Lord is just going to massage you and release you and bring peace into your life so that you can be yoked with Him and walk with Him. And what did Jesus say? He said, my yoke is light and my yoke yeah. is easy. And so the Lord says, He's going to yoke you with Him so that you can walk with Him and He will carry your burdens for you. He will strengthen you because He loves you very much and He's got a wonderful purpose for you. God bless you, Daniela. Amen. God bless you, Daniela. God loves you. This next word is for Saina. Saina, God loves you so much. And I just saw how God is just... Um, I saw a picture of how you went into like this... Uh, 
like this this arctic um snowy place and how god um placed like a thick thick blanket over you it's like in the olden days where they like they use those big fur coats to to um to wrap that keep them warm because that's that's how they they kept themselves warm in those days and i just see how god gives us this very thick big blanket over you and the Lord says in the coldest times in your life in the warmest um, in the in the in the coldest most in the biggest storms you will not feel the cold because my love my covering is all around you so I just feel the Lord says do not fear um, no matter where you go for the covering is, of God is with you and then lastly I saw how um, I don't know why. I, while I pray for you, I'm seeing like fur coats. Uh, while I pray for you, I saw a picture. Also, you know, also in the olden days, they used to have um, fur on their shields. And then they would like wet it. So when the fiery darts from the enemy hit them, it wouldn't it wouldn't um, affect them because they had the, the damp um, shields. And they were protected. And I just, feel how, I, just, I just feel the Lord says, do not fear for that covering of my love is around you. Yeah, God loves you so much. God bless you. Yeah, hey, awesome. See, you know, uh, God's hand is upon yeah. you. And uh, I agree with Amy, you are a warrior in the kingdom of God. Uh, and that water is the water of the, of the presence of God that is putting over your shield uh, of faith uh, that, that stops that fiery arrows uh, yeah. of the enemy. And so the Bible says very clearly, no weapon formed against me shall prosper. And so that doesn't mean that uh, weapons won't be formed and come against you, but it will not prosper because yeah. your walk in, in, in faith in the Lord will be your rear God and he will protect you. Okay, God bless you. So the next word is for Anneli. Anneli, the Lord is showing to me how he is giving you a good name. And I saw a product like a cool drink, but it had a no name brand on it. You know, sometimes you go to some of these grocery shops and I got like a no name brand uh, on there. Uh, just, and that's just kind of the brand of the shop. But people kind of avoid sometimes those products because uh, they are of a low quality and they don't really taste or function the same way. Uh, but I felt that the Lord says that you are functioning in your purpose and in the quality and in the goodness and in that light that the Lord has made you and He's given you a lot of ability and skill and talents uh, and so uh, you've been uh, sometimes branded lower than you are and so the Lord says I'm rebranding you I'm giving you a good brand a good name a good reputation and it's just like the same as you take a no name pro uh, a product and you put a, 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 a great name on it suddenly the sales go up suddenly uh, that product is in more, uh, uh, more in demand just based on the, the brand. And so the Lord says you are going to be in massive demand and you're going to be very, very busy. And lots of people are going to say, but I want uh, more of what you have to offer and that talents and the gifts that's in you. And because of that, you're going to be able to raise your price and you're going to be able to, to be more blessed and to prosper more uh, and also to have more influence because the Lord is giving you a good name. And I just see how the blood of Jesus washes you clean of the past and how the Lord puts that crown upon your life. God bless you, Annalie. God bless you, Anneli. God loves you. This next word is for Sebenele. Sebenele, God loves you so much. And I just saw how the Lord says, um, kindness, that's your business. And I, I just feel, I, I, I remember my um, grandpa told me the secret for business is to love your clients and just to just have a heart full of love for this person. And when, when any, any opportunity to show kindness or to serve comes, you do it. And then that person's going to want to come back. And I just see how the Lord says, you're in the the business of kindness and your kind heart is going to change a lot of people's lives and open up a lot of doors for your life and I just feel the Lord says a lot of th um, think reasons why you feel like life is still and not really happening is you're not going out enough and I just feel the Holy Spirit's going to give you the wisdom of where to go out what people to see um, I just feel like you're a little bit of like that type of person that Robert would stay in at home and, and but I just feel the Lord says it, it's time for you to go out um, and, and, and God will give you the wisdom wh where the places you're going to go that's going to really help you business ministry wise and yeah God is going to open up a lot of doors and he's going to give you that courage and wisdom to know what to say at the right time yeah I just really feel God wants to open up some doors for you so yeah God loves you God bless you thank you Sabinele the next word is for Ilili 
uh, Elili, the Lord shows me how he's pouring his Holy Spirit upon you and how the flames of fire come upon you and how the Lord is really equipping you to be on fire. And then the scripture, it says there in Acts chapter 2, uh, I will pour out my spirit on all flesh uh, and your sons and your daughters uh, will see visions. Uh, and they will uh, dream dreams and they will prophesy and I felt that the Lord says that I'm opening up the heavens to you I'm opening up revelation to you you're gonna see visions and dreams uh, you are gonna prophesy the word of the Lord and the fire of God is gonna consume all of the flesh and all of the old things I'm putting my favor upon you and you're gonna have supernatural provision you're gonna need nothing you're gonna always have more than enough and you're gonna walk with me because my glory and my anointing is upon you and so i just see how you are empowered and we felt i was weak i didn't have opportunity i don't know where to go the lord says now all of those question marks i'm going to give you answers and i'm going to give you provision god bless you amen this amen god bless you this next word is for joshua joshua while praying for you i saw a picture of a boat and how you owned this beautiful wooden boat and it was honestly it was glorious and you had people in it working in there in like a ship and you really um maintained this boat well and i just see how you have god is giving you more plans of how you can expand on it and make it better but i saw there was a person in your boat that you, there was like an inside job that is that is so full of destruction not only in his life but also um for the boat and it was like he was picking in holes and you're like at the top trying to um make like paint it or make or maintain it or just make it even prettier or better and i just feel the lord says that i'm going to give you wisdom and knowledge of how to sort out this person get this person out of your boat so that person won't bring destruction and let the whole thing sink so i just feel that you're in a battle right now and how the lord is really going to give you the wisdom the re revelation of how to get the situation sorted it could be a person or it could be a situation but i really feel that it's bringing a lot of destruction into your life and like poking holes into this boat so i just feel the lord says uh, he's going to bring breakthrough for that and he's going to restore all things and then the next picture god showed me was when you got the situation sorted you got from one destination to the next and then i saw three new boats that the god that the lord gives you to that you're going to look after but god helps you that to to make a team and raise up some people to work with you so i just really feel that god is going to bring increase into your life but he's first helping you get from this place to the next god loves you so much and i just feel the lord is reminding you how much vision he has for your life so the lord says don't stop dreaming and don't listen to the words of man listen to my voice um and and me speaking through the people that love you and that i've sent god loves you god bless you hey joshua god bless you it's hand is upon yeah. you and i just felt that the the lord has just so much opportunity for you yeah. and he's giving you wisdom not to do everything but to do that path that that door that's his door for you that's in line with the desires and the call that he has for your life and so the lord is giving you wisdom and we young people sometimes do things that are foolish uh, the lord is putting on your life more wisdom uh, than um, your age just because he's with you and you're willing to be obedient to him god bless you joshua uh, so uh, rainier the lord shows me a, a drift with lots of water it's quite deep uh, potentially dangerous because the water is coming down and i see lots of people could be the congregation could also be people part of the business and how they on this side of the the drift but they gotta go to the other side they need to move forward um into the new into the new technology into the vision and purpose uh, on the old side they will die of hunger and drought and not enough resources in the other side of the drift uh, there is more resources but they gotta go through this challenge right now and then the lord said to me that Ranir, you are a brave leader you are a brave man of god and you're going to show an example of how to move from the old to the new, how to bring in spiritual and physical technology and to walk in the new way and the purpose. And I remember out of even is always creativity uh, and technology that the Lord is releasing to this earth because the Lord wants us to advance into the new. He wants this earth to look like heaven. And so that's why I see the Lord says you are going to be open 
to embrace the new that the Lord is releasing and you'll go to the new. Uh, also, I felt that uh, with this group of people, there was bears attacking them. You know? and, and I was doing a video where I was talking about how the bears is a picture of the things that come from behind because a bear attack, attacks from behind. So it's a picture of our past. And I just felt that the Lord says, I'm dealing with the things of the past. Um, I'm forgiving uh, I'm letting go and even where there was maybe spiritual or even financial transactions that was not godly the Lord says that that mark that accusation of the enemy is not going to forever be against them and against you but the Lord says I'm forgiving you I'm cutting it off as part of the past now walk into this new future that I have to uh, have for you and I'm giving you the authority uh, of uh, kingdom dominion to be able to face the future. The Lord loves you very, very much, uh, Ranier, and I also love you. God bless you. Amen. God bless you, Ranier. God loves you. This next word is for Michelle. Michelle, while praying for you, I just feel the Lord says, do not underestimate Michelle. She is so strong. She is so capable, and there's so many things that she can do. And I just saw there's a lot of like seeds and things that you've done in the past, like I think like 10 years ago, 10, 15 years ago that you've done in your life that the Lord is bringing back those harvest harvests and I just feel how the Lord is just um, um, really shining his glory and how the Lord is making you even more so beautiful in the inside and the outside just like Sarah um, when she was I, God like totally restored Sarah when she was like in her 90s and I just feel in your life right now God is taking you into a path where he's really um, making you so beautiful in the inside and out and showing you how much he loves you and just pouring that into your life because you are so special to him and then I saw a picture of how um, you're like holding this very beautiful you know like a stunning tea set and it, it was it was it was beautiful but you know they're quite fragile and quite delicate so people just use it for decoration but I just feel the Lord says you're not decoration you're going to be used and I just saw how the Lord says it's a lot stronger than what meets the eye it is like it's like steel I just feel the Lord says you will not break so that when people look at you or if you feel like you're very fragile because like a tea set I just feel the Lord says you're not a, like any other tea set you're going to you're going to bring something into the world that is so beautiful, so strong and through that it's going to touch a lot of people's hearts. So I just feel the Lord says don't hold back. My strength in my hand is upon you. God loves you. God bless you, Michelle. Okay, Michelle, uh, God bless you. Uh, God bless both you and the Rainier and your children. Uh, we really appreciate you. Uh, family, uh, it was wonderful for me and Amy to minister to you. Uh, I want to remind you, we have the prophetic ministry, but we also have a, a teaching channel. Uh, and I'm, yeah, I'm, really, I'm posting regularly yeah. uh, teachings. I'm trying a new strategy, and that is storytelling. Um, I'm still learning, and uh, I'm, I'm working on it. So please go and check it out yeah. and write me a comment. And also remember that Amy's got a channel called Amy Storm, where she uh, post uh, worship music and singing and so that's also wonderful Lord, um, family we love each one of you have a fantastic day god bless bye thank you for joining unity with heaven remember to subscribe like comment and join our newsletter if you want to support us please click on the paypal link may god bless you abundantly remember you are valuable and we love and appreciate each one of you. If you enjoyed this content and you want to see more, please click here. Yeah.